Hey there guys, gals, fans, and pals, welcome back, welcome back. My name is John Megacycle, another episode of Utopia. The creation of a nation is about to kick off. Came up with another new challenge I wanted to give myself a try on. And I think we're up to Antares 3. Antares, Antares, it's hard to pronounce, not sure how to do it. But anyway, we're going to go through and we're going to give this a go. For this challenge, we're going to go solar only again. That's still a tough one. It adds a bit of a challenge to it, so I like that one. We're also going to go something interesting with no science budget. Uh, now, the way I understand how the science labs work, the way it is is every scientist produces one research point every month. Unfunded. If there's funding, like let's say there's military research in the budget, that scientist produces two research points that month. If both science, if both military and civilian grants, you know, if both are funded, each scientist produces three research points. It's something like that. So to keep my science slower and make it more of an opportunity for the enemy to overwhelm me, I'm not going to fund research. This is going to suck terribly and I already don't like it. But I should get normal research just by building labs and stuff. So we're going to give this a go. So it's solars only and no research. I could do spying grants, but no military grants. Okay, so no research, meaning I'm not funding it. I'll buy labs. So I'll get laboratories. Uh, maybe I'm not explaining this right. I'll get labs, but I'm not going to fund the... I'm not going to fund the research the normal way of putting money into the account. I think I said that all right. I hope I said that all right. Uh, I'm getting rid of this. I'm not doing aircraft anymore. No thanks. <laughs> that was such a pain last time. Uh, could have been worse. Could have been worse. It was not fun, though. Okay, Any anything, anything around here? No, okay. So. Let's see. What did y'all give me here? Uh, you gave me an alright start. The two hydroponics are kind of critical, I think. Okay, how many people do I have free because I need people to... 40, okay. I'm gonna need people to start doing hydroponic-y things. Let's just chuck one of these right here. How many people do I have left? Nope, not you. I know. Do 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 do. One of the more relaxing stages, just from the music. This is uh, Canon in D, or it's something like that. Uh, but it, it's got a far more poetic, theatrical, orchestral kind of feel to it. It's not so much. Oh, I built these solar panels way too late. Ah, that's okay. The idea was I was going to hopefully have them done by the end of January. I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, not enough food. Not enough living space. Oh, right, because those are 50 apiece. Right. Okay, first month's a little rocky. That's okay. I'm not buying food for three. We'll buy gems and weapons and tech. For these prices, though. It's nice, I like it. I like I think so far my favorite music has been Vega 3. Very upbeat, very, very peppy. Very energetic. But that's okay. Nice to get back to the classics once in a while, I say. <clears throat> okay. And high birth rates. And I'm going to want some more flux pods soonish. 
And then I want to work on industry and science and a bunch of stuff. So realistically, one more flux pod will do me alright for this first chunk of the game. <laughs> Sell food for six, heck yes. Thank you. Uh, I will buy gems at six. No ore, really? Come on. Help our brother out. And this game starts off like it always does. Pretty calm, pretty quiet, first few minutes of the game. Take a deep breath, relax. We're not sure what's coming, we don't know what's happening. I'll give you 4,000, see if you can tell me what direction these jerk bags are at. Is that one of those? All right, two, two security. I can't afford that. None of colonists. Uh, two security, four workshop, two labs. That should that should be like enough to get us really started. I was able to build one. Oh, and there's another. And we'll go two labs next. Why not? That housing should be done pretty soonish. Nah. So there's not a lot of resources or a lot of facts or walkthroughs for this game anymore. After scouring the internet, I only found two. And both of them agree that without science funding your scientists still do work but not they're not nearly as effective so that's kind of the conclusion i'm running with here that i want to keep my tech i want to still rise through the technology ranks but to give the enemy a bit more of an edge on me i'm gonna go slower by not funding it uh southeast yep same rigmarole you've heard me say a billion times we're trying to come up and encroach into the enemy colony. It's located in the southeast, and we'll have further details as time passes. Like, that... It's always the same thing. Like, I'm not really interested in the genealogy of these guys, so he probably ate my whole budget. He totally did. Uh, but I do want to know what direction the base is, and that tells me where I can start slapping down tanks and building up kind of a thing. That's the idea, anyway. And we're gonna go... Four workshops. No, we're not. And our first eclipse. Uh, after reading on these facts as well, doing a bit more digging, it seems like May has a higher probability to be an eclipse month than any other month. Uh, take that as you will. But that's what it sounded like. Gosh, getting proper ore tech is going to be such a pain. Uh, what are we looking at for power? Ah, oh, come on! 17 in storage. That's lame. Yeah, okay. Well, after I build this last workshop here, uh, give me four workshops, yeah, because I really want to ramp up the tech product, and I want to get, I'll get back into more solars. I'll keep that, I'll do the same thing I did last time and I've been doing, building a wall of solars. I've really enjoyed doing that. They're cheap, they protect a little bit, whatever, if it gives them a different target to attack rather than hitting up my more precious structures, I'm fine with that completely. Uh, I don't know, something like this. None of colonists, okay. Well, fine. Fine and foo. And I'm gonna be offline. I'm not sure how offline, but we'll see in a second here, I'm sure. Dang it. Yeah, power, power, uh, the command center's coiled up and all defensive. None of colonists, okay. There. Labs are built. Now, I'm really gonna throw a radar over here, a flux pod, maybe a turret. 
But I mean, this is how I'm going to start building little mini walls, I guess. Something like this. None of colonists, of course. Of, why would I ever have enough colonists to build anything at all? And then another row of solars. No matter how often I play this game, you spend so much time having so many colonists that reverting back to a new game always is kind of a painful experience. You know, I don't have enough people to just build freaking solar power plants, really? These things take two weeks to slap together and it's still painful. But that's okay. Get some workshops, some hospital. Yeah, sell that food. Nice. Buy that? Oh, no, no, crap. I read that as cost one. Oh, boy. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. It's... it's... it's alright. <laughs> common... common mistake, I guess? <laughs> Not so common, but whatever. Uh, yes. You can kind of really see what I'm up to with this game is... Reinforcing, building that solar wall like I said I was going to. I really want this to be dialed in. And they said they're in the southeast, so now I've got a little something something here. I'm increasing my range of control, and I'm adding value to it. So realistically, chuck two, three turrets out here, I think we'll be doing pretty sweet. Okay, how much capacity do I have? 80? Yeah, I want more than that. Um, I want at least... 140? I'll have to check my consumption real quick. I'll check my consumption after July. <laughs> Alright. Nothing good. Yeah, I'll sell weapons for 13. Oh, I Dang it. <laughs> anyway. Usage 67. I don't need to last two full months. Oh, hey, look at this. The first time you offer me people at a time where it actually will help. Um, I don't know if I have housing for them all. What the heck? Let's risk it. Oh. Okay. I'm sure this didn't update the way it should have. So, priority has just changed. I need housing instead. And I'm probably going to need another hydroponics soon. Oh, I did build a good amount of housing. Okay. I couldn't remember if I built two or four. Uh, still, though, I'm going to build two more in addition. <laughs> another hydroponic, probably. Alright, my radar's up. Do I see any amount of ore? I don't have any idea how this mechanic works. Sometimes when you start the game, you see ore. Sometimes you don't. Sometimes... Ooh, did that just do what I thought that did? Oh, look at that. Just bleed it right off the bat. Hold on, see? Look at that. <laughs> that's, that's a new one on me. That's different. Okay, anyway. We'll get a much better picture of what our demand is at the end of the month, because I don't think those numbers updated properly. Okay, let's take a gander. Yep, definitely need more food. Okay, so that came at a good time. That came at an alright time. We've got the housing. Mm, two hydroponic would do good. 
I would appreciate it more if I was selling more, but that's okay. And we're going right back to flux capacitors. I need the storage because we're just above one month of storage. And I definitely want more than that. Dang, no demand for anything, huh? Jeez. The only thing that would make this a bit better is if I could start mass producing tanks. Um, I know what direction they're in, but I don't want to start even building the structures until I have ore and weapons because I'm going to hear nonstop every month. I just want you to know again that we didn't we didn't produce any tanks because you you don't you don't have any stuff to make tanks. Uh, I mean that that's really the bottom line. Like I don't want to hear that over and over and over again. Hey, sell some tech, sell some food. That's not bad. I'll totally take that. Another flux pod? Heck yes, another flux pod. Throw down another flux pod for October. And then I want to start... Uh, labs hold 10 scientists, I believe. So once it gets full, I really want to ramp up our science pretty tough. I wonder how long it's going to take for pollution control, because that's the first one that you get, is uh, whatever it is, science are thrilled, scientists are thrilled, or your people are thrilled, or Earth is thrilled, or someone's delighted about further advances in pollution control, keep up the good work, bra 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 So I wonder how long it's going to take without any, any funding. Okay. Bunch of new flux pods came online. What are we looking like? Awesome. That's awesome. So I got two months worth of storage. Very happy with that. Okay. Sweet. I could use more hydroponics, <laughs> I feel. Uh, maybe some more storage as well. But let's, let's start with the little stuff. Two more hydros. Uh, and then, I can't afford a store on top of that, can I? No. Okay. Hydroponic, hydroponic. Uh, uh. Hydro oh, I can't afford a store. Stores are only 2,000. For a second, I thought they were 4,000, and I was like, sad puppy. There we go. Yeah, we are looking pretty good on the power right now. But, of course, the only reason why that's the case is I haven't built any turrets. Turrets are probably the bigger draw mid to late game, because I'm just slapping them down. Uh, especially with the last challenge where I wasn't able to build tanks. That was a pain. It's been a good year so far. I'll throw down two more shops, and that should take care of us for a long time. Uh, it doesn't make any sense if I ramp up food production, per se, and then not ramp up storage equally, because I know I'm going to need it. Um, okay, 5,000. I kind of got some fun money here. I need more labs. I'll need more security. I guess I'm fine with the hospital the way it is right now. Oh, come on. You won't sell me or for one? I'm not going to buy tech. Forget that noise. So, I'm thinking four more labs. Let's just get those set up right away. Definitely want to stay ahead of that curve. This will probably be the first time ever I've played a game without properly subsidizing my scientists. I'm really trying to think, of, think about that. Mm 
I don't know. This is just one of those songs that it's delightful. It's playful. I don't know. I like it. It makes me want to sing along to this one. Vega 3 is a good rockin' tune, I guess. I guess I'd call it that. It feels, it feels good. It's got that stuff to keep you awake, especially middle of the song was pretty heavy stuff. Um, but this one is just... I don't know. I could go to sleep to this. Buy food for one? No. Not gonna sell tech for one either. You guys be crazy. That's okay. After January, I'll be able to throw down two more labs. And then we'll go to security. And then probably we'll have to go back to infrastructure, most likely. We'll probably be out of housing at a certain point here. Uh, considering I haven't touched it since we hit two, well, yeah, we got the 40 people that got us about to 200, and then I had two more. Okay, that's another room for 40 scientists right there. So we should have room for 60? I'm pretty sure they hold 10 apiece. Uh, I need more security. Security is definitely 10 because it stopped at 20. Uh, yeah, sell food. And no, I'm not selling tech for one. Wow, this, this random generator or whatever seed I'm playing on is absolutely trolling the crap out of me. Um, security, right. Two more security structures will make me feel pretty good. Um, I need to check housing. Power usage we're still good on. Food we're still good on. Air we're still good on. Awesome. Uh, housing is a must. Housing is next. Oh, I can throw down one right now. Should be perfect. Uh, I'm just going to go a little bit more this way. Look at all those beautiful sun-worshipping modules. Yes. Yes! Venus. February comes and goes. Get all our housing up. Uh, good. Good. Labs. Labs and everything are ramping up nice. Yes, I will buy tech for one. Thank you. Holy crap, it swings my way. Uh, ore for four? Four ore. Nah. Nah. Anything on the ore scanner yet? Nope. Lame. I don't know, some maps, like, there's there have been times, you can go back and see other episodes, there have been times where we've had ore, like, right where we've started, and a radar uncovers an ore deposit, and we've had, we've had some oddities. But whatever. So that's why I like to check now and then. I don't know if every month it does a sweep and there's a percentage of a chance to uncover something that's there or something. I have no idea how it works. Uh, recently I tried to break open this ROM in particular and I, was, I learned how to change colors and change some of the text and mess with some little things, but you know I can't, I can't figure out how to see the code. That would be a dream come true if I could actually see the nuts and bolts that make this game work. 
and speed run this game? Like, how surreal would that be? Uh, I'm gonna keep my tech for four, thanks. Uh, nah, I'll sell it. Bought it for one, I'll sell it for four. Uh, ah, I should have bought that ore for five, but that's okay. Hindsight is always 20 20. Um, security was next. Wouldn't mind two more security buildings. All that housing should be done in April. And then what I'll be able to do is I'll be able to see our demand and try to figure out what we're looking at in terms of demand and such. Quiet. It's too quiet. <laughs> That's okay. And there we go. There's my two security I wanted. Um, I'm gonna have to check. Oh yeah, sell tech for seven. Heck yes. Uh, that's good. And we've got like four thousand storage. We're about a quarter of the way through. Yeah, 4,000 storage. And power storage, 200. That's more than enough for a month. That's still about enough for two months there, so I'm happy with that. Air is something I'd like to talk about. Um, we're good on housing for quite some time. Now, let me check one more thing. Yeah, we're good. We are good. Uh, it's, oh, I'm literally one credit away from an air, air life support. Frickin' <laughs> rude. <laughs> Kidding. Anyway. Um, well, I guess I'm going to make some good money end of May. Yeah, yeah, again, May. Another another freaking uh, eclipse, right? Just the laziest attack ever. Okay, I don't see any enemies or anything. Um, I guess what we should do is we're going to have to start layering our turrets. Uh, we, we have to start placing turrets in the first place. Um, I'd like to see where they are coming from. I think the spy report said they were in the southeast? Southeast. Okay. I thought I saw some mouse weirdness there. Eclipse is now over. Did I miss... Did I lose my base? Eight. There it is. Okay. <laughs> I was like, where in the craps? Okay. So, let's just start working from the inside out. Place some turrets. At least give us something to fight against. If I... St or fight with... If I start too far on the outside, the thing is, my turrets could not be within range at all. Um, so starting in the middle, right in the center of our base, makes the absolute most sense. So one right next to the command center, we'll chuck like one over here, one right here, uh, one right here, and then we'll just build out from there. That's, that's kind of the tentative plan. Now if I can find them earlier, and gauge where they're coming from, I can at least do something a little bit better about that. Still nothing, okay? Now, to make sure we build a really solid defensive perimeter, I like to put my turrets about two squares in between each other. So, turret, space, space, turret, space, space, turret. You get the idea. Um, for this, we just need some defense scattered around. Just place it everywhere. So... We're just going to do, like, I don't know, five, six spaces in between. Just, like, chuck one up there. Like I was saying before, just spread them out. I'd rather have something all over the place, rather than, like, really hardcore defend one side and then have nothing somewhere else. 
I think you get what I'm saying. Uh, weapons for five? I'll buy weapons for five. I'm able to afford another turret. I'm able to afford another turret. My goodness, I can't talk. But, this is uh, July. We're going to let that tick down. I'm going to call this an episode right here. We've got a really good start. My name is John Megacycle. Another episode of Utopia is in the books. And I hope to catch you next time.